Hello there, this is Mary Demuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray you through scripture verse by verse. We are in 2 Timothy, and uh, so excited to be in 2 Timothy 2, verses 14 through 18. And this is the Phillips translation. It says this, Remind your people of the things like this, and tell them, as before God, not to fight wordy battles which help no one, and may undermine the faith of some who hear them. For yourself, concentrate on winning God's approval, on being a workman with nothing to be ashamed of, and who knows how to use the word of truth to the best advantage. But steer clear of these unchristian babblings, which in practice lead further and further away from Christian living. False teachings are as dangerous as blood poisoning to the body and spread like sepsis from a wound. Hymenaeus and Philetus are responsible for this sort of thing, and they are men who are palpable traitors to the truth. For they say that the resurrection's already occurred and, of course, badly upset some people's faith. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, help us to stir ourselves up and to remind ourselves of the fact that we are in a battle, that we are in um, a long journey, a marathon. And uh, some of us are battling depression, some of us are battling anxiety, some of us are battling cancer, some of us are battling difficult relationships, some of us are battling money woes. And Lord, yet you are faithful. Help us to turn to you, whether things are great or things are hard. We choose to turn to you right now in this moment. We choose again. To surrender and say, you are God, we are not, we need help. Lord, um, we want to concentrate on making, uh, having you be proud of us, to be good workmen and workwomen of yours, um, that we would not be ashamed and that we would know how to use the word of your truth to the best advantage of the kingdom. Lord, thank you for these words um, from Paul to Timothy that seem to echo what we're experiencing today with social media. I'm thinking of the words unchristian babblings. (laughs) And I think that that is, um, and above he says, wordy battles. Lord, we live in a world of wordy babbles and unchristian babblings. And Father, I pray that, um, that we would just steer clear of them. Lord, I know I'm tempted when I see something escalate on Facebook or on Twitter. I am wanting to jump in and defend you or or whatever it is that I'm trying to do. And Lord, it usually always ends up poorly. And so help us just to walk away from those kinds of battles. And also, I pray that we would not be ones who stirred it up, uh, that we would just simply um, quietly and one person to one person at a time correct things. Lord, this is talking about like public battles and Lord, help us to privately confront if that's necessary, but help us not to go on and on and on with words. When there's a lot of words, then sin increases. So help our words to be few. Um, That verse says, you are God in heaven and here am I on earth. So Lord, let my words be few. So Lord, I pray that for myself as well as I'm praying with a bunch of words today in this prayer. Um, Lord, uh, I love this metaphor that it's a hard metaphor. False teachings are as dangerous as blood poisoning to the body and spread like sepsis from a wound. That is harsh. And I love that your word is does not shrink back from telling the truth. I love that Paul actually named people who are leading others astray. We tend to think that that's unloving or unkind or it's gossip, but Paul is not known as a gossip yet. He called out these men who were, were responsible for false teaching. This is a big deal. So, Lord, thank you that he has given us that example. Show us and give us the guts to know when to be quiet and know when to say something. And, Lord, help us to follow Paul's example that he's not afraid to be quiet, but he's also not afraid to call people out if they are hurting the body of Christ. And in this case, he has done that. Um, Lord, we want to uh, be people of the book, people of the Spirit, people who are patient, people who love other people, people who love you first. And so I um, just recommit my heart today to loving you and to loving others. 
Thank you for this time that we have to pray. Thank you that there is prayer. Thank you that you hear our prayers. Even when it seems like you don't, it, the truth is, is that you have. We love you and we need you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. If you'd like to help support the show, you can go to patreon.com forward slash pray every day. At $1, you'll get my undying gratitude. At $5, you'll get a free painting that hasn't been released to the world yet. At $10, you'll get your name on a wall. And at $20, a secret podcast that nobody else gets. So um, thank you so much. For those of you who are Patreon sponsors, you are a blessing to this podcast and have a great day.